It's at Acumex Masters Motocross. Round one, in first, let's Drenna. How will the first class turn out? Will Max Nagel match last year's performance on his new Honda? Or is it Tixier who is lurking to win the championship for the same team? But also Henry Jacoby and Tom Cope are back for the title fight. Add Acumix Masters Championship 2023. The last year's champion Max Nagel got off to an excellent start in the very first race. Closely followed by Henry Jacoby. Local hero and rookie Maximilian Spees worked his way up from 10th to 5th place in the first half of the race. Meanwhile, Sander fought his way to 4th place. Tixier retired 6 laps before the end of the race in 9th place with a technical defect on his rear wheel. And Tom Cope battled his way up to the 3rd position. Nagel kept control of the lead until the finish ahead of Jacoby and Cope. Next day, next chance, race two. Nagel won the Red Bull hole shot again and took the lead ahead of Steri, Jakob Tersak, Tixier, and Nico Koch. Jacoby and Spees, on the other hand, were pinched off at the start and had to start the race from far back. Nagel quickly built a small lead over Steri. with Koch working his way up to third on the fifth lap. Jacoby fought his way to the finish in fourth place ahead of Tixier. Once again, Dangle controlled his lead to the finish while Tom Koch put Steri under pressure towards the end of the race, but was unable to pass the Briton. In the third race, Nagel again went straight to the front and steadily extended his lead to claim his third start-finish victory of the weekend. Jacoby again had to settle far at the back after a crash at the start. Behind Nagel, Nico Koch was initially in the chasing position ahead of class rookie Noah Ludwig. Sander had a huge crash at the beginning of the race, but was luckily able to walk away. And also Jacoby did not finish the race after another crash. But on the sixth lap, Tom Koch had worked his way up from eighth to second place and took up the pursuit of Nagel. Nico Koch held the third position until five laps before the end of the race before he was overtaken by Tixier, Steri, and Ludwig to complete the top five of the race. In the end, Nagel also wins the third race. In the last lap, Nico Koch attacked Ludwig again, but could not make it back into the top five. But both drivers pay respect to each other. The event classification went with maximum points to Nagel, ahead of Tom Koch, Steri, Spees, and Jacoby which also corresponds to the series standings. Ja, war ein mega Wochenende. Gestern im Quali noch ein bisschen Schwierigkeiten gehabt, um eine schnelle Runde hinzubringen, aber dann der erste Lauf schon äh, richtig gut und äh, ich sag mal Schlüsselpunkt waren die Starts. Klar, die sind immer wichtig, aber ich war selber überrascht, dass sie so gut funktioniert haben und auch das fahren, weil es war wie gesagt alles neu. Strecke war sehr anspruchsvoll, sehr schwer und die Jungs, die haben alle jedes jeden Lauf gepusht natürlich bis zum Schluss, also es war nicht einfach, auch wenn der Vorsprung ein bisschen da war habe ich trotzdem arbeiten müssen und bin jetzt auch fertig, bin müde und bin jetzt froh, wenn es nach Hause geht. War ein gutes Wochenende für mich, ein guter Einstand. Ich hatte ein bisschen, ja, sage ich mal, Probleme am Start. War nicht ganz perfekt, deswegen immer kleine Aufholjagd. Aber ich bin zufrieden mit meinem Wochenende. Das Fahren war mega und ähm, da kann man aufbauen, definitiv.